Humans have been building statues since the dawn of civilization. Whether they wanted to ward off predators or strike fear into the hearts of invaders, even worship a deity or signify unity. Statues are a big part of our collective cultural heritage, but the statues in today's video stand out from the rest in a big way, because these are the top 15 tallest statues in the world. Number 15. Spring Temple Buddha the second tallest statue in the world is, in fact, a depiction of the Buddha. The Spring Temple Buddha stands in the township of Zakun in Luchan County in Henan Province. Taking 11 years to complete from 1997 to 2008, it stands at a whopping 502 feet high and is 402 feet wide. The statue gets its name from the Tianri Hot Spring close by, which is said to have restorative properties. The Spring Temple Buddha depicts the Vairokana Buddha, who is often seen as the Gautama Buddha, which is the Buddha most Westerners think of when they hear the word. And in East Asian Buddhism, this depiction usually represents the concept of sunyata, or the void, or the non-existence of the self. And if you can wrap your head around that concept, then I might just see a giant statue of you one day. To get up close and personal with the Spring Temple Buddha, you need to climb up a great many stairs, but it's worth it because you'll be treated to the best view in town. Number 14. Leikyun Sekya Buddha The third largest statue in the world stands tall in Myanmar, in the Katakan Taung village. The Lakiyung Sekya Buddha is a real beauty and guaranteed to put a smile as big as the statue itself on your face. This depiction of the Buddha stands at 424 feet tall, and it took 12 years to complete, finally wrapping things up and unveiled in 2008. You'll notice the statue from miles and miles away as it towers over the scenery, but even as you approach, you'll have your jaw on the floor because of the gorgeous and peaceful pagodas and parks along the way. And aside from the standing Buddha, you'll notice the other Buddha who's just laying down, chilling and relaxing. He's the Buddha after all, he can do that. You can go inside the standing Buddha, which holds 31 floors, each representing and depicting the 31 realms of life cycles as written in the Buddhist scriptures. Believe it or not, this Buddha has some of the highest tourist traffic in Myanmar, with people coming from far and wide to catch a glimpse of this otherworldly masterpiece. Number 13. Sendai Daikonan Another huge statue of the Baikue Kanon, the Sendai Daikonan in Sendai, Japan, is the tallest depiction of a goddess in Japan and the tallest of its kind in the world, standing at 330 feet tall. And just when you thought statues couldn't get any bigger, this thing really is big in Japan. When she was built in 1991, she was the tallest statue in the world, but slowly moved down the fifth place in 2018. You can 100% go inside for a small entry fee and ride the elevator all the way to the top floor, where you'll find even more statues of the Buddha and various mythical kings. In all, there are 12 levels with eight Buddhas each in their timber cabinets. And if you're good at math, you'll figure out that that's 106 Buddhas in all. That's a lot of work. Number 12. Ushiku Daibutsu Let's stay another moment in Japan to look at the Ushiku Daibutsu. Located in the Ushiku and Ibaraki prefecture, the Ushiku Daibutsu is the fourth tallest statue in the world at 394 feet up. The statue was completed in 1993 and is made entirely of bronze, depicting the Amitabha Buddha, which again represents infinite light and life. It's an incredibly common Buddha, but also represents something incredibly beautiful. It also pays tribute to the birth of Shinran, who founded what's known as the True Pure Land School of Buddhism, the Jodo Shinshu. And while the Ushiku Daibutsu looks great from both afar and up close, you can take a walk inside and make your way up to the observation deck. When you first walk inside, you're greeted by a dark lobby filled with music and a bright shaft of light as the centerpiece. The second floor is called the World of Thankfulness and Gratitude, which has a bigger emphasis on the Buddhist scriptures. Make your way up to the third floor for the World of the Lotus Sanctuary, where you'll find 3,000 amazing golden Buddhist statues. And then the fourth and final level gives you views from the bosom of the statue overlooking the garden and animal park. Each floor of this huge statue gives you a new opportunity to stop and reflect not only on Buddha's teaching and values, but on your own life as well. Number 11. The Great Buddha of Thailand All right, the next entry on this list is really great. You may already be a bit familiar with the Great Buddha of Thailand, since it's a pretty big hit with tourists and is a must-see for anyone visiting the country. It's not hard to see why, either. The statue is 300 feet tall and another 210 feet wide, made entirely of concrete and then painted gold. 
construction of the Great Buddha began in 1990 and wasn't finished until 2008 and was made to commemorate the King of Thailand at the time. The statue was built entirely by donations from Buddhists everywhere who saw their donation as a sign of good faith, an act of merit, and a way to give back. In all, they collected the equivalent of over $3 million. The Buddha depicted here is sitting in what's known as the Maravijaya attitude, with one hand placed gently on their knee and the other resting in their lap facing upward. The posture or attitude represents the story of Buddha defeating his enemies while on the path to enlightenment. And if you ever get the chance to see the Great Buddha of Thailand up close, you just may feel enlightened too. Number 10. Hokkaido Canon The eighth tallest statue in the world and the third largest statue in all of Japan is none other than the Hokkaido Canon. Also known as the Byakue Canon or the Dai Canon of Kitanomiyako Park, this 289-foot tall statue is another classic depiction of the Bodhisattva Guanyin, a very common figure in Buddhism. It's been around for quite some time, too, having opened in 1989. During its heyday, visitors could enter the Hokkaido Canon and jump in the elevator to climb over 20 floors up, which all contains shrines and other places of worship. And if heights aren't quite your thing, that's okay, because there are still plenty of smaller shrines in the area to help you find some peace and ask the deities for guidance and advice. This place was once a massive tourist destination, especially during the months of March and April, when the cherry blossoms synonymous with Japan are in full bloom. Sadly, though, the Hokkaido Canon is permanently closed. Number 9. The Statue of Liberty It wouldn't be a list of the world's tallest statues without good old Lady Liberty. Anybody who's anybody has heard of the Statue of Liberty, and for so many American immigrants, she was the very first thing they saw when they entered the country via Ellis Island. Her legacy is as majestic as her looks are. It was initially proposed by the French in 1865. Construction officially began in 1875, with many of the funds coming from the citizens themselves. She was built from simple copper sheets, which were all individually hammered and shaped out by hand. The malleable sheets then went over her steel frame, which was designed by none other than Gustav Eiffel. Yep, that Eiffel, as in the Eiffel Tower. When the work was finished, the newly built statue stood at 151 feet high and weighed a whopping 225 tons before she was put on her pedestal. She was shipped out to the United States and presented as a gift to represent allyship between the two nations. When she was finally hoisted onto her pedestal in 1886, she was now towering over New York City at 305 feet tall. And for the last 150 years, she remained an American icon, standing proud and tall with a torch in one hand and the Declaration of Independence in the other. And if you're wondering why this copper statue is green, that's okay. While she was originally the color of a US penny, decades of weather and salt water have given her her green patina. Number eight. Christ the Redeemer. He has risen, only this time, to all new heights. Even if you can't find Brazil on the map, you know exactly where to find Christ the Redeemer. And while certainly not the tallest statue in the world, it still sits right at the top of a 2,300-foot mountain in a national park. Christ the Redeemer was made from reinforced concrete before being dressed with thousands of soapstone tiles and is the largest Art Deco sculpture in the world. The statue has had a long history that dates back to the year 1850, when a local priest came up with the idea of building a Christian monument in order to honor the Princess Regent of Brazil. But it wasn't until 1920 moves were made by the Archdiocese to follow through with the project that would be seen from just about anywhere in Rio de Janeiro. The statue was finally completed in 1931, but getting the materials up the summit was no easy task. Everything needed to be brought up the 2,000-foot mountain by rail, and even today, it's constantly undergoing repairs, renovations, because even Christ the Redeemer needs some help looking this heavenly from time to time. Number 7. Statue of Belief You'll never believe this next statue to grace this list. One of the youngest statues in the world, the Statue of Belief, is the second largest in India, and it's on track to be the largest statue of Lord Shiva in the world. The Statue of Belief will stand at a whopping 351 feet tall, which is so big that you can see it from about 12 miles away. It's going to be absolutely epic and will no doubt add to the country's tourism and spiritual significance. The Statue of Belief is underway in Rajasthan, in an area already famous for the Srinathji Temple. Construction on this behemoth began in 2012, and the structure is spread over 16 acres of gorgeous land. 
It's made up of a few parts, with the base standing at 110 feet, with the statue itself having a shoulder height of 260. In front of the statue of belief is a smaller statue of Nandi, which stands at about 25 feet tall and is another 37 feet wide. But the statue isn't the only spectacle here, because it's surrounded by multiple gorgeous herbal gardens and an amusement park that's even set to go up in the vicinity complete with ATV rides, food stalls, and even a zip line. The Statue of Belief is going to be one hell of an attraction, and also the fourth tallest statue in the world. Number 6. Leishan Giant Buddha The first ever Buddhist temple in China dates back to the 1st century AD and still exists today in the Sichuan province. It's a pretty epic sight, but it's also home to one of the largest statues in the world, the Leishan Giant Buddha. This stone statue is carved right into a cliff face. The rock stands at 230 feet tall, making it the tallest pre-modern statue and the tallest stone Buddha statue in the world. It's clearly got a lot going for it. The Leishan Giant Buddha is made of some incredibly old Cretaceous red bean sandstone and stands just above the Min and Dadu rivers. Getting here involves a bit of a climb, but it also offers some pretty epic views. The giant Buddha is so renowned that in 1996 it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site and as you can imagine sees thousands upon thousands of visitors a year. Some come to snap photos and others come to reflect on life itself. The statue has a lot of meaning to a lot of different people and the fact that it was carved so long ago and likely made by hand makes it all the more stunning. Unfortunately though, something like the Lishan Giant Buddha isn't really made to last forever and it's suffered from degradation over the years. Both wind and air pollution are the biggest culprits here, which is why the government sends teams in to maintain the historic statue as best they can. Number 5. Statue of Guan Yu We've seen some pretty epic statues before, but none quite like the statue of Guan Yu. Guan Yu is a famed Chinese military general who died in the year 220 AD and has since become deified. So in 2016, construction on his statue was completed in Jiangshou, China, standing at 190 feet tall and weighing nearly 2,000 tons. And while it may not look exactly like an artist's rendering of General Yu, the statue has turned him into something quite literally larger than life. Sure, Guan Yu is depicted wearing his traditional attire of the era, robes and a cloak, but he's also wielding his weapon, the famed Green Dragon Crescent Blade. And while that sounds like a magic weapon from Dungeons and Dragons, it's a very real weapon still on display in the museum inside the statue's pedestal. The statue, which is made of 4,000 bronze strips, looks ready to come alive and do battle at a moment's notice and slay any enemy using its 123-ton blade. The statue of Guan Yu took only three years to build and cost the government around a billion and a half won, roughly 230 million US dollars to make. And while people come here from far and wide to see this awesome statue, many locals come here to worship. It may not be the largest statue in the world, but there's no denying that it's one of the coolest. Number 4. Guanyin of Nanshan On the southern coast of the Hainan province in China, close to the Nanshan Temple of Sanya, you can't help but notice the 354-foot tall Guanyin of Nanshan towering over literally everything. It's another gorgeous statue that depicts the Guan Yin, who represents compassion and mercy. This statue is slightly different, as it has three faces, two of which face the South China Sea, and the other facing inland to represent the Guan Yin blessing and protecting of the entire world. They're also holding a sutra in the left hand and making the Vitarka Mudra gesture with the other hand to represent the discussions and transmissions of Buddhist teaching. Everything about this statue has a purpose, and nothing here happened coincidentally. As you circle around the statue, the Guanyin can also be seen with a string of prayer beads and a lotus. She's the 12th largest statue in the world and took six years to build, having finally been enshrined in 2005. And while she is absolutely stunning to look at, the view of the clear blue waters on which she sits isn't so bad either. Number 3. The Motherland Calls Moving away from one of the world's largest religions, Buddhism, for a moment, let's take a look at a European statue, and the ninth largest in the world and the tallest in Europe, the Motherland Calls. This statue is just as epic as its name. The Motherland Calls stands at 279 feet tall in Volgograd, Russia, and it's the centerpiece of a larger ensemble of monuments. 
The Motherland Call stands as a dedication to those who fought and fell victim to the Battle of Stalingrad, where Nazi Germany attempted to take the former capital during World War II. The battle lasted 200 days before the Nazis surrendered to the Soviets. So now, to get to the Motherland Calls, visitors must walk up the 200 steps, which symbolize each day of the battle. The Marshal of the Soviet Union, Vasily Chuikov, and Soviet sniper Vasily Zaitsev, who killed 225 Axis soldiers, are both buried near the site as well. If the Soviets had lost the Battle of Stalingrad, it's likely that the rest of the countries would have fallen into the hands of Nazi Germany. And so the Motherland Call stands as a constant reminder not only of the victory, but of the great cost the Soviets paid to defend the nation. And aside from a history lesson, the awesome statue looks like something out of a fantasy novel. Number 2. Guishan Guanyin of the Thousand Hands and Eyes All right, this next entry on the list is probably the coolest yet. The Guishan Guanyin of the Thousand Hands and Eyes is exactly what it sounds like. Well, maybe she doesn't literally have a thousand hands and eyes, but she's got more hands and heads that you can count with two hands. She's working with 42 hands in all, each making their own distinct and deliberate gesture. All of these hands allow this Buddha to see all of the misfortunes in the world and come to the aid of those who need it. And as you work your way up the statue, you'll notice the multiple heads that sit atop her main visage, which represents her deep humility, as each face recognizes the goddess in one another. It really is quite a beautiful statue, and its deeper meaning is even more so as we should all recognize not only the trials and tribulations, but also light in one another. The sixth tallest statue in the world, and the fourth tallest in China, she stands at 325 feet tall, and it's made entirely of gilded bronze, and lives in the Hunan province. Number 1. The Statue of Unity India is the second most populated country in the world, and while there may be strength in numbers, the people of India understand their country's tumultuous history. But amidst all their pain and heartache during the age of colonialism, there is still beauty and, most importantly, unity. The Statue of Unity is the tallest in the world at 597 feet tall. It towers over the Spring Temple Buddha in China by over 170 feet, and it serves as a constant reminder of national pride. And instead of depicting a Buddha or one of Hinduism's fanatic 330 million gods and goddesses, the Statue of Unity simply depicts a human man, Sardar Patel. Sardar Patel is the first Prime Minister of India and held the office for just three years from 1947 to 1950, but he made quite an impact even before then. When India was under British rule, it was divided into 526 states, all with their own social rules, customs, and laws. The crown made it quite difficult for any sort of dissent, but Patel was a fierce civil rights activist and not only fought vehemently for his country's independence, but also helped to unite hundreds of separate states into one beautiful India. The Statue of Unity is made of reinforced concrete and bronze and was built in just three years. It was unveiled in October of 2008 on what would have been Patel's 133rd birthday party. People flock from far and wide to gaze upon this marvel, which serves not only as a valuable history lesson to all, but as a statement regarding the human spirit as well. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.